Hey, today I'll be taking a quick look at a game called Epistory Typing Chronicles. This is a action-adventure typing game, kind of similar to games like The Typing of the Dead, where you are actually using your keyboard to type random words to kill enemy creatures and do various other things. Uh, it'll make more sense once I get into it. I'm just going to read off the description just a little bit. It says, you play as a girl riding a giant fox who fights an insectile corruption from an origami world. And before I start, I just wanted to say this game is very story-driven, so I'm going to be meeting my mic during the first part, and I'm going to try to avoid talking over the narrator as she narrates through the entire Once game. Once upon a time, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. There was a girl, and she rode upon the back of a great fox, but they were lost. They had always been lost. until a path appeared, and so she followed. Was the path leading her, or was she leading it? She didn't know. It was just there. So I just wanted to mention, this game, at the beginning, it has a really nice, like, pop-up storybook feel with like origami looking or like paper looking uh, environments. It's really interesting and unique. All of a sudden, she knew where she was. She was home. The woods had sheltered her as a child. The path was blocked before her. stretched deeper into the forest. So every time you uh, type a word to kill like an obstacle or an enemy, you gain experience, and you can use experience to get perks. I have 8 points because I played a little bit on my last playthrough and earned some points so they carry over. This one allows me to sprint, this one, let's see, the combo will start more, with more time. If you type multiple words within a certain amount of time, you get a combo which earns you more experience, which is pretty cool. Each word typed will give more time on the combo, knowledge dungeon entrances will be displayed on the map, and that seems good. Let's keep on going. She remembered animals frolicking in the glades. She remembered planting flowers. She felt the woods begin to wake up around her. Alright, so now I'm going to do a little bit of exploring to get uh, some bonus experience. I am not a writer. This is not my muse. So right here, uh, I can't go through this these branches yet. I have to unlock a sort of power later on. The stronger she felt. She remembered exploring the twisted paths. She remembered discovering precious stones. She would have to burn the brambles before she could pass through them. She remembered finding magical things in the underworld. One thing I really like is that the words that you're typing kind of match the similar theme of whatever it is on the ground. Although some words I have no idea what they even mean. <laughs> but as you saw on that chest, I think it said rewarding, sort of. I think there's other words that, like, you'll you'll notice later Dangers on. Dangers awaited beyond the forest. Sensing a terrible wrongness, she looked up. 
and fire fell from the sky. Chapter 1, Signal Fires. Had a star died? Had the moon fallen? She didn't know, but she wasn't home anymore. Titanus chattering creatures began to appear. Insectile things which sought to hurt us. With their scything claws and gnashing moths. So these are the type of monsters you fight throughout the game. Um, later on you'll fight much harder creatures. These are extremely easy. If an enemy gets close to you, you die in one hit, so you have to be quick to destroy them. I wonder if there's anything up here. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go ahead and just quickly go to where we need to. There's a rock there. I guess we can... We did miss a branch as well. There's a branch over there. Maple. I'm just gonna go this way. The trees begin to give way to ash and char. We're going to investigate this meteor. This was where the meteor had struck. Landing. The path ended here. Or <laughs> Oops. I kind of jumped in there too uh too soon. She would have said or did it she or or did the story alone, begin? Lost in darkness. Get the limestone. Going a little bit fast, so the uh, narration the narration was lagging behind a little bit. But we are exploring this kind of dungeon. Oops, we got a new upgrade. Let's go ahead and get. Uh, we'll do knowledge. Let's we'll just knock back. Each hit will repel the insect back a little bit. We need two points to unlock that. I'll just put one for now. Type. I guess these are different types of rocks or minerals. Cavern. They came from the darkness, like fear manifest. And only fire could save her. Alright, now we have to walk across the fire. She saw something across the lava. Power which the meteor could not destroy. Something new flowed through her veins. It burned away the loneliness inside. Collectible fragment, press tab to see it, collect all to see the whole image. Cool. And Let's go ahead and go this way. All around her. Oops. Volcanic chalk. Spell of them. If you were wondering, I heard this game was about six to eight hours long, we'll maybe friends. a little less, I'll look at you. depending on how fast you can type. 
So this game definitely has a very interesting story. The maze began to crumble before. Torch. There we go. I think that's kind of cool with this fire ability. It'll burn uh, one word after a little while. So like, if you see that beetle to the right, if I just wait, it'll slowly burn up and then it will uh, kill the insect. So where do we go now? Let's go to the right. One thing I kind of don't like is I wish the words were always on the screen. The words only appear if I press spacebar, which ha which makes this little circle around me. And that's the only time I can type. Otherwise, uh, you can never see the words. I wish you could just constantly type the words as you're traveling along. The clavicle closed and suffocating. Winning. Anything over here? I don't think so. I'm gonna go up here just real quick. Oh yeah, okay. So there was this door over here, there's probably something secret. Combustion. part I'm pretty sure I have to light all of the torches at the same time. And there we go. Opens another door. Let's go ahead and clear this path. Paintings began to look familiar. Chest in this corner. CM, 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 CM. Wow. Alright. Two out of three fragments collected. Let's go ahead and look at our st picture. Okay, so now we unlock the girl on the picture. I think those are just like random collectibles. I don't think they really uh, have anything to do with the story, really. Or just small connections to the story, I should say. Let's see what's down here. The cavern opened up before her, like a cathedral. Odd pet. Cone, Mars, where? Matt, Web. I guess we're gonna go this way. I'm not really sure which way we're supposed to go. And there stood the meteor's heart. Remember that the next word will burn. Try to set insects on fire as soon as possible to give them time to burn. Alright. Um, I kind of want to go back and get the other collectible piece. I'm going to just see if there's another path back here. I'm one of those people that really like to uh, Even here, collect all the collectibles. There were precious things. Money. Just waiting Eureka. Relic. 
There we go. Third piece of the fragment, and we got a picture of the little girl and the fox. Looks like the girl uh, bandaged the fox arm. I guess that's how they became friends. Here we go. Time to fight. I'm fairly good at typing. People who struggle typing or have to look down to type may have a, a tough time with this game. But it is a good learning tool. I took a typing class in high school. Oh, no wait, middle school. I kind of wish games like this were <laughs> in the typing class. The little typing programs that I had to do were so boring. Pretty much just typing the same sentence over and over. Oops, I'm not, I'm not supposed to die here. Act, ban, and there we go. That was kind of close. What if I can move? Nope. Braced himself for the final onslaught. Final onslaught. Misunderstandings. Oh my god, that's so long in word. Well, I can just wait. And there we go. Stillness descended, and her heart danced a new beat. Oh, it looks like my fox has armor now. It's like my fox gonna slowly upgrade as I go through the game. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and use our points. I'll do knockback and what else? The combo will start with more time, two points to unlock. Uh, instinct. The path to the nearest interest point will be shown when press spacebar. Two points required. Okay, I'm gonna do instinct. Fire magic will burn the next. Oh, uh, that's a good one too. Oh well. Where is the map? Do we even have a map? Oh, here's the map. Um, so it shows something here. What does it say? Nest. Chest. Reveal. You. Alright, I think we got all the chests. What? Maybe. Yeah. Let's go on to the next area. Or, I think this is a teleporter. The bridge. She emerged once more into the light. Though the ground would be forever marked, green shoots of new life surrounded her. Oh, cool. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing a lot of exploring after this part. This video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and I'm going to make a part two. Uh, if you liked what you've seen so far, be sure to check this game out on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, in my opinion, this game is really nice, like, really grand storytelling, love the narrator, and the, uh, the environments look pretty amazing. It's a really nice and colorful game, especially that underground area, that was a really cool sort of magma, magma level. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting through the rest of the game, and, uh, join me if you wish, or check this game out for yourself on Steam, and... Also, I think this would be a great educational tool for anyone who's looking to learn how to type. This is uh, pretty nice, especially for kids. So, um, yeah, hope you guys have a nice day.